Introduction Hey, what happened, Jack? Why are you looking so serious? Today is a cricket match between India and Australia in Ahmedabad and I want to go there to watch that live match. But my parents are not allowing. So how can I watch it? Well, Jam, you can watch it live while sitting in your room on a television set. Friends, as we know that the various means of communication like television, newspaper and internet has made the world small. So let's learn more about some means of communication in detail here. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Newspaper Letters and telegrams Radio and television Telephone Pager and mobile phone Telex Fax Internet and email Hi friends, how are you? As we all see usually that in our home newspaper getting delivered daily. But what's its use? Actually, we get information about the world in the form of text and pictures printed on a paper through it. It includes many sections such as national, international, sports, business news and weather reports. You know, it also has a special section for you in which many stories, poems, jokes and riddles get published. Now let's know more about other mean of communication that is letters. Do you know the fact that letters are the written form of communication? It is generally used to exchange information with people present anywhere in the world. Inland letters, aerogram and postcards are different types of letters. Let's know about them in detail. Let's start with inland letter. The inland letter is a light blue colored sheet of stamp paper which contains a message and it gets folded in a particular way. Now let's know about aerogram. An aerogram is also a type of inland letters carried by airmail. The other type of letter is known as postcard. A postcard is meant for exchanging the information written on a small yellow colored card. But do you know that there are some letters that reach us really fast. These are telegrams. A telegram is also a means of communication. A telegram contains a brief message that can be sent quickly to a distant place. You will be surprised to know that very short messages were sent through these telegrams and people had to pay the money according to the number of words they had. But have you ever thought about those people who do not know to read it? So, how do they get connected with the world? The people who do not know how to read can get news about the world with the help of radio and television. We can hear news and listen to various programs like songs through radio. On the other hand, television is an audiovisual form of communication. That means we can see and hear the events happening in the world. While sitting at home, we can enjoy watching songs, films, news, educational events and sports on television. Now let's move on to the next mean of communication, that is telephones. Actually, telephones are used to exchange messages through the telephonic wires. It helps us talk to any person at any place in the world. With the advancement in technologies day by day, telephones got first replaced with pagers and then with mobile phones. Now let us learn more about them. A pager is a small device that usually receives alert signals and short messages. This device is useful for those people who expect telephone calls and are not near a telephone set to make or return calls immediately. But soon mobile phones came in market and they replaced pages due to the advanced technology. With the help of mobile phones, people can communicate both by talking or sending messages to the person anywhere. These phones do not require the telephonic wires, so we can carry it along with us everywhere. Telex is another mean of communication 
which provides a means of printed communication using teleprinter. Teleprinters are the machines that are connected to other through cable network. This machine contains a keyboard to type the message. The messages typed at one end get typed on the machine placed at other end. And the receiver can get that message printed on a paper. These all are the common means of communications. Now let us have a look at some modern means of communication. First means of mode communication is facsimile or fax. Actually, this is an electronic device that sends handwritten or printed messages like letters, diagrams, graphs and sketches instantly. Do you know that how fax machine works? By using telephone lines, the fax machine sends the exact copy of the document to another fax machine at the receiving end. Electronic mail, popularly known as email, is also a modern mean of communication. It is most popular in offices. It is a modern or advanced method of sending typed messages using computers and internet. These help to transfer the messages really fast, almost within few seconds. Voice chat and video chat are also means of modern communication through internet. Hey friends, let's check our understanding. Here are two columns, column A and column B. Match the column A with column B by clicking on the image and then its respective name. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Newspaper gives information in the form of text and pictures printed on a paper. A letter is a message written on a paper with a pen. Inland letters, aerogram and postcards are different types of letters. Television helps us to see and hear about the world happenings. Telephones and mobile phones help us talk to any person at any place of world. Faximal or fax is a written or typed message sent using telephone lines. Email is a method of sending typed messages using computers and internet.